Hey, you guys, welcome to this episode of The Rachel Cruz Show. And today we're talking about the top, most life-changing lessons that I've learned from minimalists. So if you've been watching for a while, you know I've had quite a bit of minimalist experts on the show. I've learned so many tips and tricks and hacks from them, and they've helped me clear out the clutter in my life, have more peace and simplicity, and it's great. So today I want to revisit some of my favorite moments on the show with these guests. All right, the first clip comes from an episode we filmed last year with Joshua and Ryan, known as The Minimalists. And in this video, Joshua's explaining two rules that can give you a quick mindset check when you're trying to clean out or reduce the number of items in your home. The first one is called seasonality or the 90-day rule. And the second one is the spontaneous combustion rule. So I love these two exercises because they work. So check it out. On our website, we have a free ebook. It's called 16 Rules for Living with Less. Love and in, in that ebook, what we do is, we, what we try to do is, is create rules that aren't really strict. They allow for some wiggle room. If you want to mm-hmm. adjust them, they're rules that work for me and Ryan, and you can adjust them for your own taste. So I'll give you a few examples. One's the seasonality rule. Pick up any item in your house. It could be your couch. It could be that old sweater in the back of your closet. It could be an old uh, toaster that you haven't used in years. Ask yourself, have I used this in the last 90 days? If not, am I gonna use it in the next 90 days? Be honest with yourself. And if not, give yourself permission to let go. It's okay, Mm -hmm. we call it the 90-90 rule. Another rule is the spontaneous combustion rule. So if you pick up some sort of item, say it's a sentimental item, your grandma left it behind this giant quilt and you just (laughs) can't par with it, but it feels like a burden. How would you feel if that spontaneously combusted right now? Now, I'm not telling you to set it on fire, but how would you feel? And if you realize like, oh, I'd feel really upset, well then maybe, Maybe it has some sort of meaning to you. But if you feel a relief, like most people would, maybe it's a sign it's time to let go. Oh, amazing. I mean, just so helpful. And honestly, you guys, that video in its entirety and the full content of everything they talk about, they are so practical. They give such great advice. And even towards the beginning of this episode, I remember raving to them that I had successfully done their monthly challenge called the minimalism game. So it's like when you take, you know, on the calendar, the first, and you just take away one item or donate it or throw it away. The second, you find two items, three items, and you go down the calendar, and whatever number day you're on is the number of items that you get rid of. And it was so great, and I did it, and it was so helpful. I loved it. So you should definitely check out the full video and let us know what you think. All right, before we talk about the next life-changing thing minimalists have taught me, I want to take a quick break and talk about one of our sponsors, Christian Healthcare Ministries. Guys, I know we're all looking for ways to save, especially on healthcare costs. So do yourself a favor and check out Christian Healthcare Ministries. It's biblically-based health cost sharing that helps keep your budget under control. Learn more today at chministries.org slash budget. Now, the next helpful hack that I learned comes from a conversation I had with Dawn, aka The Minimal Mom. She is wonderful, and I've had Dawn on the show several times, and we've had so many great conversations, and she is just full of practical tips. And she's a great resource when it comes to living simply when you have a family and kids. Now, I know I'm not alone on this, but those of you who have kids know how hard it can be to live without the excess when you factor in the little ones. It seems like someone is always outgrowing their shoes or they need a new school lunchbox or they need something here or there and then you go and clean out, you know, the playroom and it's like there's stuff in there that is just broken crap from McDonald's or Sonic from three years ago and all of a sudden they want to keep it because it's their favorite thing in the entire world. So Don walks us through all of that and it is such a great clip. So check it out. All right, so let's talk about number one, kitchen, gadgets, and appliances. (sighs) Yes. These things are designed to make our life easier, but most often the cleanup is worse than the time it saves you, like the choppers and the blenders and the pureers and the whatever. I I hear this all the time. It's like the cleanup is too much, so I never use it, right? So feel free to declutter it and also don't buy it again. Like next time you're watching an infomercial and it's like, look at all that it does. Just say like, no, (laughs) no, no. You fooled me before. I know better now. Don't buy it. Uh, Number two is miracle cleaners. I love influencers, Instagrammers, all this, but darn it, don't they make everything look like a miracle product? Yes. Cleaners, face creams, hair products, whatever. 
Amen, amen, and amen. Yes, so absolutely. I have a friend, she says, the magic's in the motion, not the potion. She was like, just use the stuff you have. Use the face creams you have. Use the cleaners you have. It's in the motion. It's the actually using it, doing it day in and day out, not the potion or the miracle products that the were always being sold. Be. Yes, but you see it, and you're like, mm-hmm. oh, I need that, I need that. Yeah. And then it comes with these two things, and I need the brush to be able to well, help you buy the whole set. Yeah, and it's, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it's like a black hole. That's good. Yep. That's good. That's convicting, Dawn. Yeah. That's convicting. That's good. That's good. Oh, isn't this so true, you guys? I mean, the kitchen gadgets, they always get me. And she's right. You know, cleaning the fancy new shiny kitchen tool is enough to make me never want to use it. So it's crazy. And I love the catchphrase that she uses. The magic is in the motion, not the potion. And I 100% agree. It is way more about the habits and the habits you have in your life than the product that you're going to buy. But that was just the first two tips out of 10, so make sure to watch the rest of the video to get the full list. And as I mentioned, we've had Dawn on the Rachel Cruz show several times, so there is more where that came from. And just one of my favorite philosophies that she has is new toy in, old toy out rule. And that trick can be applied to anything, from your closet to your pantry to your garage. It's wonderful. So Dawn is amazing. All right, the last clip is a conversation I had with Sandra, also known as the clutter bug. And this was her number five tip in a list of decluttering tips that she gave. And you guys, they were all useful. But the timer trick has been life-changing for me and my family. I love this trick. I actually kind of used it in my own way before she mentioned it. But it worked, and it's just, it's amazing what you can get done in two minutes and five minutes and 30 minutes. And having the end in mind is what keeps you so motivated and productive while you're in the middle of those not so fun cleaning tasks. So, Sandra has so many great stuff, but I loved this one. So, check out this video. And the last thing and the most important thing that you can have is a timer. Because we always, we almost have like time blindness when it comes to declutter. We overestimate how long something is going to take. You can declutter your purse in under two minutes. Set a timer, see if you can do it. And then as soon as you have that information and you know like this is going to take five minutes or this is only going to take two minutes, we're way more likely to actually do it. I love that. And I actually, my husband, he laughs at me sometimes because I used to do a timer on our microwave when I would clean the kitchen, like at night when, you know, he was taking kids up and I was like, okay, here's the kitchen. I'm going to set a timer for nine minutes and I can get a lot done in nine minutes. And now that we have Alexa, I'm always like, Alexa, set timer for 11 minutes and I'll do this obscure number. But it, you're so right though. I'm like, it's crazy. And then when I have time left over, I feel like I've like accomplished so much. I'm like, I had four minutes left and I did it all in this amount of time. But it does, it does something to you because it gives you an end time. That's my problem, I think, is like, it just feels like it's this endless thing. I'm like, I don't have time to do all this, but I have eight minutes or whatever it is to do it. And so I, I love that. Okay, so check out the rest of that video when you have a chance. And I guarantee you, it will motivate you and equip you to do some decluttering. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching this video. And one thing Dawn, the minimal mom, and I have talked about for quite some time is that paying off debt and living on a budget goes hand in hand with minimal living. So even if your end goal isn't full on minimalism, which I get, there is so much you can learn from that mindset and just the habits that they teach. So if you're interested in cleaning up your monthly spending, make sure to check out Every Dollar. It is our budgeting app and it is incredible. It makes budgeting simpler and less intimidating. And make sure to share this video with a friend who may need some decluttering motivation. (laughs) All right, you guys, remember to take control of your money and create a life you love. 